Hi kids, my name is BC or Axaru, I go by either, and I'm the proud owner, or once wasn't so proud owner, of an 8024 uh, from the Kobe Cryos uh, line here. So I've been trying for a while to see how do you get custom ROMs or start working with the firmware of this tablet. In most cases, one would assume you use Clockwork Mod, and anybody who's tried it find out that all of a sudden the, um, the recovery method doesn't work anymore. Well, uh, thanks to Mario GC's post on Adjoy Tablets, I learned how to crack this baby open just like the 7024, which is ever so slightly different. Um, on the bottom, the top, and the right-hand side, you'll see these individual tabs that you can stick a guitar pick into, or any other kind of uh, thingamabob that you can slip under there. And you just run it until, you know, the uh, surface starts to crack a little bit, and just run it down the sides, and eventually this whole back panel will pop open. So anyways, after we pop this baby open, let's flip it out. And here's the insides of the 8024, which is actually slightly different from the 7024. And actually, it's for the better. Uh, what you want to do is first bring your eyes up to the main green panel here. And just look along the right-hand side. And it doesn't show in here because I already took it off. But you'll see a big black, well, not so big, but a, a big piece of tape right over here. And if you take that off, you'll see this, which I'm going to zoom into. It is a holster for an SD card and you'll see this little tiny SD card. I already have it out. It's right here. It is a SanDisk, if you can't read it, uh, 4 gigabytes. And on this little SD card here is the core of the operating system. It actually holds your image for Android 2.2. So this opens up many new opportunities since you don't have to use Clockwork, but what you can do is that now you can actually plug this into your PC and this will take a little Linux knowledge. I don't know how to do this for Windows but uh, look in the comments for examples of how to do this if you've used Linux before um, of how to extract the image but now you can make a backup image of your 2.2 Android operating system and you can save that to a file so now you have your own images and the best thing about this is now you can buy other 4G cards that are SD card uh, compatible and you can try other ROMs flash them onto here in the same manner. If they don't work, just swap it out with your backup. So this definitely opens up a lot of opportunity to find out what you can do with this tablet without ruining it. You don't have to reflash the firmware, thank God. And that's pretty much it. So once again, read on the comment sections uh, for examples of how to do the commands and use the DD utility. If anybody can add to this about things you can do in Windows to flash uh, images on and off of cards, uh, more willing to accept that. Or any other good constructive input. Um, otherwise, guys, have a great day, and I hope this uh, opens up a lot of opportunities for you. Take care.